Hi everybody and welcome to Polar Bears International's Tundra Connections program. Thank you for joining our webcast today. Our webcasts are free, open to everyone, and live from the tundra. We are coming to you right now from the heart of the annual polar bear migration in Churchill, Manitoba, Canada, the polar bear capital of the world. You'll soon be hearing directly from experts from all around the world talk about what they know and what they do. But we want to know what you want to know. Please email us your questions at questions at pbears.org or tweet them at polar bears and we'll do our best to answer them here live on the Tundra Connections program.
We are joining you from the tundra today. The tundra is a type of biome where tree growth is stunted by cold temperatures and short growing seasons. The trees here are small and sparse, but some of them can be over a hundred years old. Even though this region may seem harsh, remote, and so cold, many animals call this place home. We sometimes see arctic foxes, snowy owls, arctic hares, ptarmigan, and even an occasional wolverine. But of course, the biggest of them all, the polar bear, calls this place home too. We look forward to interacting with classrooms and viewers all over the world today. If you have questions, you can send them in at questions at pbears.org or tweet them at polar bears.
At Polar Bears International, our goal is to keep polar bears in the Arctic always, and this means protecting their habitat, sea ice. Behind me is Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay completely freezes over with sea ice during the winter and completely melts in the summer. The polar bears here leave during the winter to go hunt seals on that sea ice, but during the summer they come on shore to rest and fast so they're not eating. Now at this time of year, in the fall, they're congregated around here near Churchill, Manitoba. Because of all the areas in Hudson Bay, this is one of the first regions that will see sea ice. And that means that these polar bears are the first in the lunch line to get one of those seals. Now, because of some human activities, polar bears now are waiting longer and longer to get that first seal of the season. And we want to make sure that that trend does not continue. So please join us in learning how you can help save our sea ice and make sure that we see polar bears in this area for many years to come.
Buggy One has massive tires which help us roll across the rough terrain and keep us up high, safe from polar bears. Let's go on up. Welcome to Buggy One. This is our mobile broadcast studio here on the Tundra. In the back of the vehicle, we have beds to stay in. We've got a heater to keep us warm. We have a bank of batteries underneath the floor that allow us to operate all day long without running the engine. And we even have a bathroom for when nature calls. Here in the front is where all the action happens. We have our panelists that will be sitting here speaking to you live over the internet. Here's Elisa doing a little science in the front. Behind the panelists, we have the joystick and computers all working to produce the signal that you see today. And up front, we have the driver's seat, which allows us to move this entire rig to go find the bears. So hold on to your toques. Let's go for a ride. One, 